Poe. Ray. Solo. Aww. We don't have time for that. We're already late to the party as it is. We've got a new Last Jedi trailer finally coming to us straight from Disney and Lucasfilm. I know, I'm so excited. I got my chewy pill ready to squeeze and then we got our tickets. Tickets. We struggled through D23, guys, the lines, and we unfortunately did not get a trailer or really much of anything, <laughs> but here it is. It is time, we so let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, we've been waiting for a long time, and yeah, we got a behind-the-scenes featurette that everybody else got, too, during D23, but now here's the real deal. We are going to see the newest full-length trailer for The Last Jedi for the first time now. When I found you. There's a lot of, uh, oh, yes. oh, <laughs> untamed power, yeah. and beyond that, something truly special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Like me has always been there. Oh, the music already. <laughs> Train montage. Yes. Hell yeah! I've seen this raw strength only once before. Oh, no. yeah. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. They almost killed. They almost killed Luke back then. Oh, yeah, he's a fighter. It's like your granddaddy. Oh, no. That's the only way to become I like his scar. Oh, no. Oh, ah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, the music. Uh, Shake it up. Oh, oh, check those guys out. The way you think. Little puppy diamonds. tone to this to the way that, I mean the way that they're trying to put the tone for this movie is like amazing because it's very different from the from Force Awakens and I am loving it super exciting yes. it's definitely not it doesn't look like it's going to be a rehash either of anything we've seen before right which is definitely very positive because that was one thing you know people are saying about Force Awakens but this looks like its own Star Wars movie and it looks like it's going to really have an emotional pull to it and some a lot of action. Just that scene too with Princess Leia or you know General Leia on the ship and freaking Kylo struggling with actually hitting the kill switch and basically wiping her out. Which, I mean, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. So I, happen. I mean, it would make sense for him yeah. to keep pushing towards that full-on darkness to take out both his mother and his father, which I'm really excited to see. Cool things too is that yeah they showed us quite a bit in terms of the struggle between the characters but we didn't get a whole lot of like the worlds yet and that's what I'm most excited for. You've got Canto Bite and then you've got Crate which they haven't really showed us anything of. I've been waiting to see more of that world especially with Benicio del Toro and we and haven't Laura even Dern. and and Laura Dern yeah I was kind of hoping yeah. that she was going to end up Papa. being. Uh, Carice Indian. Carice, yeah. I was hoping she would end up being Carice from uh, Aftermath, right? Blood, or no, uh, Bloodline. Bloodline. Blind or lines? lines. Plural. Lines. Such a good book. You should check it out. That's Claudia good. Gray, amazing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, just what they showed us still felt like a lot, but there's still so much more we haven't even looked into yet. I know. I'm, I'm really Speechless. sorry. I am a lost person. There was so much that you can go and speculate on, like, 
what's going on with Luke. He could feel the power that is like resonating from her, and he, like he said in he's, the trailer, he's he before it didn't scare him, but now he's oh yeah, been he's, in that position before, and he's scared. It's terrifying. And you could see it in his eyes, and you're like, ah, oh, what's gonna happen? And then. That What's Ray gonna do? Pit, yeah, and that pivotal moment at the end of that trailer, like, is he holding his hand out for Ray? Is Ray asking for Kylo's help? Like, uh, I mean, they could be just cutting the trailer in that way to make you think. That's true. Yeah. But who knows what's happening in that situation? And then, of course, freaking Finn, Finn. going up against uh, Phasma. Phasma. Finally. Finally, That's what we needed to have yes. the first yeah. one. Ah. That's they hurt us, I think. It did. It hurt her. It hurt her character yeah. in the first. That it should have been her instead of Nines going up against him, and instead of them actually completing the fight, it should have been her knocking, almost killing him, and then her getting knocked out by Han Solo yeah. and surviving, right. and then coming back. And here's round two. Either way, that was that movie. Now we get to get the fight between Finn and Phasma that should have been built up till now. Another thing, they hope showed... Hopefully the fight continues. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> into the third one. Uh, the the Pupperoos, the dire wolf, the, the white dog. Um, very oh, reminiscent pretty. of Rebels, See, too. Yeah, like I low want, cats. Like uh, yeah. cats. I want a plush of that one. Oh, like, that. I like the porgs, but come on. That is a pretty... <laughs> I just want one right here. I put them on my shoulder. <laughs> new worlds, new animals, and, and new characters. Um, and that's the thing, is one of the new characters who's not so much new, but he's been looming the whole time, Snoke. You yeah, finally I actually got see Snoke. Him. Yeah, real Snoke. And it looked good. Yeah. Although, I, I love Caesar, and so it's hard for me to disassociate Caesar from Snoke, because Caesar's so great in the Planet of the Apes movies. Um, but Andy Serkis as freaking Snoke. Um, I'm really excited. He's freaking holding her. Yeah, like, Snoke, resembles, powerful. Snoke resembles Go Gollum a little more. so A little cross between <laughs> the two. It, it's Andy Serkis in all ways, shape, and form. Uh, but all in all, yeah, I can't wait to see the new characters. I can't wait to see the new world. Ah, oh, the battle. And that's the whole thing is uh, espionage and... Um, Going undercover is something that has very much been a part of Star Wars. I mean, you had Han Solo and Luke do it in A New Hope. They do it every episode, basically, on Rebels. Okay. Um, infiltration, essentially. And that's something that I'm wondering if Ray is doing. <laughs> but it makes me wonder, like, what kind of security do they have when they keep getting infiltrated, like, all the time? <laughs> and another thing that was uh, lacking was the Praetorian Guards, too, yeah. because... For me, like, I am most fascinated about the Praetorian Guards because I feel like there is a possibility that the Knights of Ren have either been upgraded to the protection of Snoke while Kylo's been array, uh, away doing his thing. Or, or from there. the Praetorian Guards were sent to Kylo Ren to help him throw down on Luke in the Jedi Temple because they show Luke when he's talking about how he's afraid and his hand is coming out of the rubble. Yep. They, they thought they yep. killed Luke, I the bet. The temple's all burning. Yeah. yeah. And, and he everything he built and everything he created just fell down and got burned and destroyed. And Luke, he's not, he, yeah, he's not like the angry man anymore. He's afraid. He's genuinely he's terrified. Unsure. His face when the freaking ground cracked blown away i mean he is just he is terrified by what is happening he wants no part of it yeah he doesn't mm -hmm. want to fail again and that is why you fail um i mean it's it's exciting i can't wait to see what they have in store for us when we have uh, december, more december needs the, to get here. yeah the 14th I, know, I was gonna say the 14th feels like such i mean a I mean, we know we're gonna get a whole bunch of teasers and a bunch of spots and everything like they did with force awakens but Honestly, I don't. I don't know if I need anything more right now. I just. I don't. They did. Actually, they did pretty good with this. I was gonna say, yeah. Like we only. I just see the movie. Two. Trailers. Yeah, yeah. I don't need. Yeah. I, and and I think they kind of cracked the code. They figured it out. They got us all hyped. They got, you know, the hype is real with just that old trailer having us, you know, fever for a new mm -hmm. trailer. This one will totally roll us in. And the granted. fact that when this trailer came out, they were like, "All right, tickets are on sale." Because it's fresh in your mind. You're like, oh, I gotta get tickets. Speaking of which, we got all our tickets already, and we're <laughs> gonna be hitting up the IMAX fan event uh, at our local AMC here in Tucson. We were able to get uh, a bunch, and we're all gonna be there. Ashley's gonna be there. Travis, Gabby, you've seen them in our videos. Um, but man, we are excited. You guys, we know you're excited, but we can't wait until we see more, and eventually the film of The Last Jedi. 
So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the second trailer for The Last Jedi. It is very exciting. We're going to go and watch everybody else's reaction for it as well. <laughs> yeah. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Keep watching we, the trailer. It's, yes. it's, honestly, Star Wars <laughs> is what got us into this entire YouTube universe. Um, just having this excitement for these trailers for the new Star Wars coming back. I mean, that's what got us here. So we're really excited. Thank you so much to Tim for coming back and joining us taking time out of his wedding planning Ooh. to uh, to to meet us for Star Wars. I know he'll always do it every Star time. Star Wars is, yeah. yeah. I told Robert when I saw him last, I was like, I'll be there for Star, Star Wars. Star Wars is my life. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, thank you guys so much. You can like, you can subscribe. You can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. Check out our reaction on Instagram as, or sorry, Stardust. On, at, well, you know what? Just go to all our social networking gin joints. You Check know where they are. Um, and then you can hit up our Patreon, kick into the party, fill the party, keep the party going, gets us where we need to go we will be going to old tucson studios for nightfall this friday the 13th Ooh, scary it's basically a old west trail dust town formerly <laughs> a studio i guess they still use it as a studio now mm -hmm. but they, and put they on overlay a, it to a haunted town haunted mansions haunted houses haunted costumes haunted Shows, a lot, a people lot of walking around scaring you. Day. Yep, and we will have a vlog from that event as well, and we will be there this Friday the 13th. You can find us there if you are local in Tucson, Arizona. Either way, thank you guys so much, and may the force be with you. Always. We must keep these in a safe place. <laughs>